There are three words that Dr. Joe Dispenza says that we should absolutely stop using in our speech because the words that we speak form the thoughts that we think, that form the beliefs that we have, that ultimately manifest in the events, people, situations, and circumstances that we bring into our lives. So here are the three words. The first word is I hope. When you say I hope, the word carries a negative connotation because you're saying you need a miracle for the thing that you desire to happen. This is a state of lack because you're not asserting that this will absolutely happen. You are instead relying on a miracle of sorts. I hope I get rich. I hope I get that job. I hope I'll meet the love of my life one day. I hope to get the promotion. Does that sound assertive? or uncertain? Does this send out an affirmative message to yourself and into the universe? It's an energy of disbelief and therefore an energy of lack. And the more you say the words to yourself, the more you'll continue to stay in an energy of lack. Instead, say words that have the vibration of certainty and abundance. Change the words I hope to, I know. So try saying, I know I'm worthy of abundance. I know I'm worthy of the promotion and I deserve it. I know I'm worthy of the perfect life partner for me. I know I deserve to be healthy and to feel great every single day. I know that there is a lot of good coming into my life. The second word is I need. I need a great job. I need a great relationship. I need a new house, etc. All this is projecting is that you are needy. This too is an energy of lack. The word is abundant with love, with money, with joy, with experiences. It's already here. The world is abundant. You don't need to be desperate for anything. Imagine meeting someone who comes across as abundant and certain versus someone who seems desperate for a date or desperate for a job. It's in that person's energy. Change it to, I know I'm worthy and deserving of what I desire versus, oh, I need that very thing that I desire. That is such a different energy that you will project. It's an energy of certainty, abundance, confidence, passion, joy. Okay, the third word you should stop using is I can't. I can't believe this, I can't succeed, I can't do this, or I can't have what I desire. What you're doing is you're telling yourself subconsciously that you can never attain what you want or tap into your power because you're programming yourself to already believe that you can't do or can't have what you want. You stopped your genius and uniqueness before you even gave yourself the opportunity to try to tap into it. Instead of I can't, change it to I can. Only the people who believe in themselves can change the world. Everyone starts somewhere. Remember that. No one was born Shakespeare or Gandhi or Steve Jobs or Oprah Winfrey. Decide today that you're going to change your life. You have all the power to create the life you desire. You are the creator of your reality. Don't ever give up your power away. Don't ever give it away to negative thoughts or limiting beliefs. You can have your dream life. Stop thinking you can't and change that to you can. All the abundance you desire already exists. Believe in yourself. Choose to believe in yourself and choose to change your life today.